What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny. Fall has officially started and North America is kind of teasing us with colder mornings and earlier sunsets. Ugh, I don't know about you guys, but it actually makes me pretty sad, especially when the sun sets at 5 p.m. But it's all good because it's time to step up that fashion game. And soon the daytime highs are gonna be in your 50s and 60s, so you're gonna wanna prepare for that with your layers. So today we are going to dive into the top fall and winter jackets Let's get right into it. First jacket up is a classic piece that has been a bit overdone over the past few years, but for good reason, because it never goes out of trend. And that is the bomber jacket. Let's face it, most of us didn't really know about bomber jackets until the Fear of God second and third collections, including me. But when our boy Jerry did come out with these pieces, it really changed the fashion game. It brought out a classic military piece to a wider audience. And I'm glad it happens. Whether you're a street fashion enthusiast or you're casual dapper gentleman, a bomber jacket is a staple. Now fitted or a bit oversized, is the question of the day. I've worn both. One time when I went through my I need validation for my tiny physique phase, and you're gonna wanna trust me on this, don't go with the fitted one. Sure, you can go a bit more loose, but don't go tight, man. I don't know, whenever I hear the word tight, I just think about Tuco and Breaking Bad. Tight, tight, tight. Most bombers are made of a satin, nylon, or cotton material, but I'd say your popular bombers are made of nylon. And when it's tight, it's gonna rub up against your skin, and you're not gonna get full movement. It's uncomfortable, and you look uncomfortable. Now, a bomber that is a bit more oversized feels a ton better, and you're gonna be able to layer with a hoodie and not look like our boy Jesse Pinkman over here. And so I'd say oversized is the way to go. You can't go wrong with it. And if I'm gonna recommend a colorway, I definitely recommend the classic olive colorway, but black and navy are cool too. Next jacket we got is definitely for our tech boys and our fitness enthusiasts, or if you live in an area with a ton of precipitation, parkas and windbreakers. Now this jacket probably isn't gonna keep you too warm in the winter, unless you're gonna be rolling with a Canada goose type of parkas. And we all know the price on those. I don't live in the type of climate where I need one of those. So I'm really talking about the lightweight pieces. And honestly, the best place to go if you want quality for the price is Uniqlo. This one I got for a great price compared to your Gore-Tex counterparts and your Nike ACG, and you're gonna get a similar look. So if you're trying to pull off the tech wear aesthetic, materials matter a ton. And this parka definitely fits that aesthetic. It repels water and it allows you to cinch the waist for a different type of look. If I rock this parka, I'm definitely going to stick to contrast color blocking of only white or black pieces. Or I'm gonna go the full tech wear aesthetic with cargo pants, a tactical belt, tactical crossbody bags, and most likely an acronym collaboration sneaker or a pair of white vans. Now this windbreaker also comes from Uniqlo. My old roommate Christian and gave it to me when we were filming a video for him. Shout out to those that saw that video. I wear this all the time whenever I'm running. It's thin, light, and easy to pack, and it is great to pull off the active wear aesthetic and for fitness people as well. Now the next jacket I'm gonna recommend are denim jackets. A classic staple item as well for any aesthetic. Now me personally, I like to keep the wash very light, nothing too dark, because I've never really been into raw denim, and the same applies to me for denim jackets. Now black is cool as well, but the light wash denim jacket is definitely more pleasing to the eye, in my opinion, but that is up to you. They come in all types of styles, embroidered ones, Sherpa lining ones, ones that come with the hoodie attached to it, but either way the brand does not matter you guys aren't ever gonna see branding from a denim jacket or pretty much any jacket in general unless you look inside now I got this from Fashion Nova I know, but this jacket was cheap, I was broke at the time, and I'm honestly genuinely surprised by the quality of this. It has a good weight to it, but I don't know how long it's gonna last in the long term. So if you're looking for denim jackets for cheap, stick with fast fashion, man. Go to Forever 21 or H&M if they don't go out of business, or wait for a sale online like I did with Fashion Nova. Pretty sure I got this for like $20 or something like that. But if you want a brand that is known for pieces that last long term and has good quality to it, stick with Levi's. Every JCPenney store has a Levi's. I'm probably gonna pick up a different watch here pretty soon from there, because you can actually get some pretty good deals on those at JCPenney. Next up, I'm going to say it. This isn't top tier on my list of jackets. To me, it's a piece that everyone needs or probably will get as their first jacket. That is the classic leather jacket. So the reason why it's not top tier on my list is because everyone has it. Think about it, when someone gives someone else a makeover, they're gonna gravitate towards that badass look. I get it, it actually does look really good. But to me, and this is just my opinion, there is only one leather jacket design that I really like. And that is the lapel leather jacket that I have over here, which everyone has, including our boy Negan. I see it all the time on social media. Pick up artists, give other people makeovers. And what do they get? They get an all black outfit, Chelsea boots, and the same exact leather jacket. And it is for good reason. I'm not hating on leather jackets. This look just never gets old. Now, I wear this leather jacket a lot because I really do like this specific design. Leather jackets are warm, they repel water, and it's really easy to color block. But if you wanna differentiate yourself, pick up another jacket or a different color or style of a leather jacket. That's up to you, man. Obviously, this is just a personal preference. That's the only leather jacket I like. Next jacket up is for my New Yorkers and my colder climate brothers out there. 
the classic overcoat. These have been around since almost the beginning of men's fashion. They are super warm. They add a more dressed up vibe to your outfit and has started to creep in a little bit to the street fashion crowd. A great place to pick up an overcoat from is from Zara, which is where I got this one from. But like I said, it is slightly creeping into streetwear brands like Minimal. Now my favorite way to rock this jacket is with a hoodie underneath for the more street vibes and then a scarf with boots for the more classic dressed up vibes. Now, you can't go wrong with this jacket, whether it's black, white, camel, or light gray. It has dead ass saved my ass from those brick ass winters in New York. So the last jacket has been around for ages as well. We've all seen it in our high school days, varsity jackets. Now back in high school, it was definitely cool, but me personally, I would not wear my high school letterman jacket after I graduated high school. However, other brands have started to design their own and it's kind of trending right now. Supreme has made their own, but it's really not for me. So the varsity jackets I typically roll with are the simple design minimalistic ones. The most well-known design varsity jacket is of course the Saint Laurent Teddy jacket. This came out years ago and has been seen on celebrities dating back all the way to 2013. If you're gonna cop a varsity jacket, I'm definitely going to suggest copying one that looks like the Saint Laurent Teddy jacket because holy shit, that price. So alternatives are the way to go. To me, the branding doesn't matter as well. If you find a nice alternative, definitely cop. The jacket itself is already a statement piece, so just let it shine. Now I picked this one up from Fashion Nova as well. It was only $20, I had to. But let me tell you, quality is trash. But how can I resist for only $20? Now this red one, this is from the Richie Lee collection. Shout out to my boy Richie and Tan. And yes, quality for the price on this jacket is on point. Go follow them, stay up to date with their new collection because I'm not sure if they're gonna be dropping this again, but for sure I co-sign them, their quality is on point. Plus I'm all about supporting other YouTubers. So fellas, I know I'm missing a ton of jackets like suede jackets, corduroy jackets, coaches jackets, and more. Take your pick. These are just my favorites. Leave a comment down below. What are your favorite jackets? Follow me on Instagram at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like for that YouTube algorithm. And until then, stay fly and animosity free. And I'm out, bruh. Peace.